Look what we got. We got something from Mary Maxim. And it's big and it's fluffy. And I can feel the plastic bag. See, it's got the handle. So my guess is this is the crochet afghan of the quarter. So let's take a look. Ooh, that's interesting. We did it. Okay, this is absolutely what this is. The crochet afghan of the quarter. And where's my paper? Here's my paper. Recurring order, quarterly crochet afghan. Does not say what quarter it is, but so this is, you know, the beginning of the year. So I'm going to say the first quarter. Um, when I ordered these, I accidentally paid for the whole year so I don't get billed every month. So it doesn't even tell me how much it would have been. I want to say these are $35 plus like five bucks shipping. This, ooh, Red Heart Soft. What are we making? What are we making? What are we making? Let's see. This is different because that's included. I've never had them include that before in a project. So this is called the Wistful Waves Throw. 45 by 59. That's a good size blankie. I like the big blankie. This is what it looks like. I'm not always a big fan of the ripple, but look close up at those stitches. That is so pretty. I really like the definition on that. I like the design on that. It's a little different. Okay, so what do we got going on here? Red Heart Yarn, cream or white, and grape or wine. Let's see what we got. It's all the Red Heart Soft. That's nice yarn. I don't mind the Red Heart Soft at all. And we have, oh, that feels nice. Oh, oh that feels so nice. Off-white, so we're going to call that cream. And I'm not taking this out of the package, but it is great. That is a beautiful color. I like that a lot. And we got seven of these and three of these. So let's see what the stats are on this. Don't fall down. Red Heart Soft. Uh, five ounces, 141 grams, 256 yards. So that's one thousand, fifteen, two thousand, twenty-five hundred yards of yarn that we got. That's that's a goodly amount of yarn. Twenty-five hundred yards, and oh, that's a pretty. Look at that pattern. I like it because they always have patterns on these. Is it the same one? The two different colors have two different patterns. So we got two patterns, which is always nice because sometimes you end up with a little bit of yarn. And it says you need two balls to make this, but you could do two different colors for sure to make that pretty. It's either a scarf or a cowl. I don't know. Pattern on the back in English and French. So medium weight four, absolutely. Uh, washing machine and dryer so you can wash and dry this 100% acrylic nothing fancy but very soft very soft those of you who don't like the red heart basic yarn this is nice this feels really really good all right let's see what the dealio is with this little hook this is a circular crochet hook 39 inches long it's got two heads Back in the day, my mother used to make something. She would make little little lap, lap blankets. And she used something called a crow hook. And it was a hook that looked like this. It was about that size and it had a hook on both ends. Just like this setup right there. And basically, I wanna say it was kind of a Tunisian type thingy because she would pick everything all up on one end and then take it all off on the other end. And she could only make it as big as she could get uh, stitches on this hook. 
crow hooking is what it was called. Now this thing has a cable. I have no idea what the situation is with this weird thing. This is weird. Um, unique size J10 circular crochet hook. How much you want to bet we're doing Tunisian? You know how much I like Tunisian. Although I'm just about done with my Tunisian shell shock. Reverse Tunisian simple stitch. Tunisian simple stitch, reverse pass, extended reverse Tunisian double crochet, and reverse Tunisian simple stitch, and reverse Tunisian slip stitch. There's going to be a learning curve with this. This is what they've done. They only, this is the Tunisian project. So we only need one of these ends and some cabling to hold that great big blanket on because we are going to start out with we are going to start out with 181 stitches which you could not put on your average your average tunisian crochet hook is the same size as a straight knitting needle with an end on it like a knitting needle has so you can my friend miss terry makes full-size blankets with a tunisian hook she does it all the time I can't do it. It hurts my hands a lot to do that. So having the cable gives you some place to put all those extra stitches. But they've got this hook on both ends, so they're going to fall off. You probably, in fact, you absolutely could get a um, knitting needle protector, a large knitting needle protector. And what those do is you put one on both sides and it keeps your stitches from falling off and it protects the ends of your knitting needles. But if you put one of those on the end here, I think that would hold your stitches on just fine. Absolutely just fine. What they want us to do is to cut this off. So now you've ruined whatever use this thing has, although I don't know what use this thing would have. So if that's important to you, I would try just putting a, a, a needle, an end protector on the end of this to keep those stitches from coming off. That's what I would try first. And what they've got you doing is cutting this off so you've ruined this tool and then you put a button on there and you lace this thing through the button to keep your stitches from falling off the end. Or, or, you could buy the proper tool, which is just a Tunisian hook on a cable, and it already is set up like that. I have some of those. That's probably what I will do. Maybe, maybe not, we'll see. So this is a Tunisian project. I wore myself out on a Tunisian project two Christmases ago. Although I'm just about possibly ready to try it again. What, what gets me with the Tunisian is it hurts my hands. And part of it's because we're working with a skinny hook and you're going in, 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 out, 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 in, 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 and it's getting heavier and heavier. It hurts my hands to do, to work with Tunisian. And it makes a very dense fabric if you're just using basic Tunisian. Now this is not your basic dense Tunisian. And that is not a dense fabric at all. So, am I willing to try this? It's low on my list. But I am not against it. It'll be interesting to learn some different Tunisian stitches, because all I know is the Tunisian simple stitch. I don't know. I do not know. What do you guys think? It's a pretty blanket. Very pretty. Right now, today, at this moment, on a scale of one to 10, I'm at about a three of using this yarn for this project. I really like the yarn. I really like the way it looks worked up. 
I really don't like using Tunisia. So we'll see. Is it worth it? 100% value. 100%. Look at all this yarn. We got seven, eight, nine. We got 10 skeins of yarn here. And I know this stuff is running a solid five bucks a skein, if not more. So, you know, there's 50 bucks in the yarn. This was probably $10. And of course, you know, I love the bags. So absolutely the value is there 100%. Um, I even like the design, which isn't always the case. Just don't know about the Tunisian. We'll have to see on that. Do you guys do Tunisian? Do you do anything other than the Tunisian Simple Stitch? Should I give it another try? Should I? Should I give it another try? This is going in here with this so I don't lose it. And we will see. So that's it for our Mary Maxim Crochet of the Quarter. Blinky. We'll see you guys soon. Bye-bye.